Hi. It's Gene, retired in Mexico. And if you're new to the channel, we ask one question here, which is, do they write them and sing them like they used to? Now, a lot of people, young and old, they, they think the old music is better, but I am not so sure. And today we're going to hit up the runner-up. And I should say one of the runners-up. I've been waiting for the tie to be broken. And uh, songs, Ohio and Machine Head, neck and neck at 29% of the vote. So I guess we'll do both. But right now, this is uh, the older suggestion made by Andrew Valensky. Thank you. Appreciate it. And this is uh, Songs Ohio, which is also Jason Molina, who died at 39 from complications of alcoholism. So kind of a bummer. But I've actually never heard anything by him. So this would be a completely new reaction. It's seven and a half minutes long, so we'll get into it right away. Uh, if you like what we're doing, hit the, you know, the like button and the and the bells and the notification, you know the you know the drill. It it helps, man. It really helps. I appreciate it. And uh, so let's go ahead and hit this up. I've done a deep dive into the lyrics. I'm doing the official video from the record label Secretly Canadian. So let's go. And I might stop at once to modify the content. So I don't know if they block. Oh, pedal steel. Cool.
hate to stop it. Um, you know, like I say, I don't know if they block, but man, this is uh, this is really interesting. So it's got uh, definitely that all country vibe of you know bands like Uncle Tipolo, but his singing isn't anything like that at all. And it, I don't know. It's just it's got that lo-fi production. I mean, it's everything I've read about, but to hear it rather than imagine it, it's really cool. And the lyrics talking about a blackout and you got this kind of Cleveland, Ohio country Americana thing going on. It's really interesting. I love the guitar in one channel and the pedal steel in the other. And the drums are tucked back in the background and so are some of the vocals. He's got a really interesting voice. So let's keep going. Come on, let's try. Very cool. Tons of personality. Now, I, I can see why he wasn't um, immensely successful because it's not produced that way. It's not, you know, you can imagine this with some clean production, but with his voice, which is kind of fragile, it kind of, wa you know, wavers or quiv quivers. That's the word I'm looking for. You know, when he holds a note and sings with power, it kind of quivers. It's, it's very fragile voice. Uh, but it's full of personality, and I love that outro where he's like, listen, <laughs> he's commanding us. And I'm like, okay, okay, yes, sir. And uh, it's great. I, I really enjoyed this a lot, and the lyrics are, are uh, above average. So he starts off talking about, I guess, a blackout or a power out of some sort, and then goes into all this uh, lyricism about darkness kind of existential 
kind of stuff. You know, he kind of morphs into from the literal into the figurative. And it's really cool. And he's talking about the the uh, the uh, jaws with the dead moon and, you know, all this kind of poetry. And it's it's free verse. It doesn't uh, rhyme that I recall. And, and that's cool. And he's just got all this imagery. And, yeah, I think it kind of starts like a story. And then it drifts into this, I don't know, until the very end where he's talking about farewell transmission maybe it comes back around but we kind of go on this tangent for a while we we go off storytelling and into just imagery and that's really cool i like that so andrew thanks for the suggestion uh i'm i'm impressed uh and he was quite prolific for a guy that didn't live too long so very cool um i'm gonna give this an a i think it's cool um his um what's holding it back from an a plus i don't know maybe vocals and production a little bit but i love the harmonies and and then at the end on the outro there was that deep voice and then i thought i caught maybe a a female voice in there just one line it was really unusual and uh yeah, but I but I love the production nonetheless. Like I say, I loved it, and it holds it back maybe at the same time. I don't know if that makes sense, but uh, I, I liked um, the two guitars and the channels and the drums. Like I say, the, the drums were what I want to describe is they sound like they're in the back of the room, and that's a really cool production technique. Uh, you know, a little bit of echo on those drums, just very cool, but... The lyrics are what really make it, and his personality. I would say the lyrics and the personality. Uh, he comes through in spades on this song, so thank you. And as we say, we're going to wrap it up because it's a long video. And as we say here in Bonita, Mexico, buen dia.